My greetings to everybody. My name is Olga Atsudinishvili. I am a researcher from the Evgeny Haradze Georgian National Statistical Observatory, and I'd like to present you my talk, Cosmological Scholar Field, Pricidia Models. In 1929, Edwin Hubble, based on the spectra obtained by Vesta Slater and theoretical predictions of George Gillamet, revealed the linear relation between the radial velocities of the remote galaxies and physical distances to them. This is called a Hubble uh, Lemaitre law, which reflects the expansion of the universe. But our universe is expanding with an acceleration. And in 1998, two teams under the leading of Firmut and Ries, studying distance type 1a supernova, independently discovered this fact. There are two opposite approaches for the explanation of these phenomena. The modification of general theory of relativity on large scales and the existence of dark energy or dark barotropic fluid with negative pressure. There are numerous dark energy models and a partial list of which is presented here. The simplest description for dark energy is the concept of vacuum energy, or the time-independent cosmological constant lambda first introduced by Albert Einstein. The cosmological model based on such a description of dark energy in the special flat universe is called the standard concordance of fiducial lambda called dark matter lambda CDM model. The lambda CDM model is based on general relativity for description of gravity in the universe on large scales, the energy density associated with the cosmological concept is about 70% of the total energy density in the universe at present. Being still a fiducial cosmological model at present, the lambda system model has several still unresolved problems, the number of which increases as more accurate observational data are obtained. The main of which are the fine tuning or cosmological constant problem, the coincidence problem, the Hubble parameter tension problem, the parameter SA tension problem. Moreover, there are also the problem of the shape of the universe. Uh, to be precise, the preference for observational data of lost hyperspaces and the preference for observational data of dynamical dark energy, in particular phantom dark energy. The presence of all the above discrepancies of the lambda CD model is interpreted as a crisis of model cosmology. Although some of them may be due to systematic errors, their persistence strongly points to the need for new physics and new cosmological models that go beyond the standard lambda CD scenario on the one hand and on tensions and anomalies in the current CMB data, the queen of cosmological data on the arrow. The main alternative to the lambda CDM model are dynamical scalar field phi CDM models. In these models, dark energy is represented in the form of a slowly varying uniform cosmological scalar field at present. This family of models avoids the coincidence problem of the lambda CDM model. In these models, the energy density and pressure are time-dependent functions under the assumption that the scalar field is described by the ideal barotropic fluid model. Dark energy models are characterized by the equation of state parameter, which is the ratio of the pressure to the energy density. If for the lambda CDM model, the equation of state parameter is a constant and equals to minus one, then for phi CDM models, the equation of state parameter uh, is a time-dependent function. Dynamical dark energy can mimic the cosmological constant lambda at present while becoming almost undistinguishable from it. The models are divided into quintessence and phantom scalar field models. These two classes of models differ from each other by the range of the equation of state parameter values nowadays, by the, by the sign of the kinetic term uh, at, uh, in the Lagrangian, it's positive uh, for quintessence models and negative for phantom models. By the form of the Klein Gordon uh, scalar field equation of motions, by the dynamics of scalar fields, 
the quintessence field rolls gradually to the minimum of, of its potential, while the quantum field rolls to the maximum of its potential. By the temporal evolution of dark energy, the dark energy density for quintessence fields remains almost unchanging with time, while the dark energy density for phantom field increases with time. By forecasting the future of the universe, depending on the special curvature of the universe, the quintessence models predict either an eternal uh, expansion of the universe or a repeated collapse, while phantom models predict the destruction of any gravitationally related structures in the universe. They consider the quintessence color field Pisidae model with inverse power law rate people's potential. Their alpha and kappa are positive model parameters. They considered alpha in this range according to observations. If alpha equals to zero, Pisidae models reduces to the lambda CDM model. They also considered the phantom scalar field Pi CDM model with uh, inverse hyperbolic cosine potential. The V0 and Psi are uh, positive model parameters. They applied these sets of equations to investigate the concept in essence Rata people's scalar field Pi CDM model and the these sets for investigation, um, the phantom inverse hyperbolic science color field by CBM model. To investigate the background expansion of the universe, they jointly integrated the uh, first Friedman equation and the Glenn Gordon color field equation of motion equation for the above models and the result. They obtained the evolution of the equation of state parameters for the quintessence and the phantom scalar field models for fixed model parameters on them in comparison with the lambda CDM model. A larger value of the parameter alpha uh, in the quintessence strata people's model and parameter psi in the phantom inverse hyperbolic cosine model causes an increase in dark energy and thus a stronger time dependence of the equation of state parameters in these models and vice versa. They investigated the influence of the scalar field Pi CD models on the expansion rate of the universe. The expansion rate of the universe is faster in the quintessence scalar field of Pi CD models and slower in the a phantom scalar field Pi CDM models in comparison with the lambda CDM model. In quintessence scalar field models, the expansion of the universe occurs faster with an increase in the value of the parameter alpha, and conversely, in phantom scalar field models, with increase in the value of the parameter psi, the expansion of the universe occurs more slowly. They investigated the influence of the Pi CDM models on the energy components of the universe. The epoch of dominance of dark energy is established earlier in the quintessence scalar field Pi CDM models and later in phantom scalar field Pi CDM models in comparison with the lambda CDM model. In quintessence scalar field models, the energetic domination of dark energy began earlier with an increase in the value of the parameter alpha and conversely, in phantom scalar field models with increase in the value of the parameter psi, uh, the energetic domination of dark energy began later. They also investigated the influence of Pi CDM models on the dynamics properties of the universe. The dynamic dominance of dark energy began earlier in the quintessence scalar field models than in phantom scalar field models. Both in the quintessent and in phantom scalar field models, the dynamic dominance of dark energy began earlier than the energy dominance or at a fixed value of the model parameters in these models. They investigated the influence of Pi models on the evolution of the large-scale structures in the universe. 
For this purpose, the numerically integrated, the linear perturbation equation relative to the matter density fluctuation delta. They also uh, calculated the linear growth factor and the large scale structure growth rate. Larger values of matter density fluctuations are generated in quintessence scalar field models, and smaller values in phantom scalar field models compared to the lambda CDM model. In quintessence scalar field models, the larger values of uh, the matter density fluctuations are generated with increasing the value of the parameter alpha and conversely, in phantom scalar field models, the smaller values of the matter density fluctuations are generated with an increase in the value of the parameter psi. The large scale structure growth rate is slower in the quintessence scalar fields, but faster in phantom uh, scalar fields because in quintessence scalar fields, the Public expansion is faster than in phantom scalar fields, which leads to suppression of the large scale structure growth rate in the universe. In quintessence scalar field models, the large scale structure growth rate uh, slows down with increasing the value of the parameter alpha. And conversely, in phantom scalar field models, with increase in the value of the parameter psi, the large scale structure. Uh, growth rate rates. They also carry out the observational constraints uh, on the parameters uh, in the quintessence color field models using different observational uh, data sets. Using the growth rate data alone, they have got the highly degenerated likelihood contours in the alpha omega m plane. The addition of the baryon acoustic oscillation data and distance prior from the CMB broke the, this degeneracy, and they obtained these ranges for alpha and omega m parameters at one sigma confidence level. They also carried out the MCMC analysis with upcoming dark energy spectroscopic instrument data, and they obtained these ranges for alpha and omega m parameters at three sigma confidence level, there the rather people's phi CDM model is compliance with the lambda CDM model. In conclusion, I'd like to point out that the scalar field phi CDM models differ from the lambda CDM model in a number of characteristics, which are generic for these models. Compared to the lambda CDM model, the Hubble expansion rate of the universe is faster in uh, quintessence scalar field models and slower in phantom scalar field models. Dynamic and energetic domination of dark energy began earlier in quintessence scalar field models and later in phantom scalar field models. Larger values of matter density fluctuations are generated in quintessence scalar field models and smaller values in phantom scalar field models. The large scale structure growth rate of the universe is faster in phantom scalar field models and slower in quintessence scalar field models. Thank you very much for your kind attention.